Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to extend my warm greetings to the Secretary General of ITU, Her Excellency Doreen Bogdan Martin, and to all of you connected online. I'm honored to address this esteemed gathering on this 2024 edition of the annual symposium of the future networked cars. This symposium is the result of the UNIC and ITU cooperation for more than a decade already. And this event, which is organized by ITU and the UNIC, remains a unique platform at international level to gather authorities and industry experts from the automotive and telecommunication sectors, as well as their regulators. The world is at a crucial juncture in the fight against climate change, and the Paris Agreement has set ambitious targets for reducing greenhouse gas emission. The recent session of the Inland Transport Committee adopted a few weeks ago the Inland Transport Committee strategy on reducing greenhouse gas emissions from inland transport. The measures and efforts related to reducing the share of transport in greenhouse gas emission could have an impact on the possibility to travel for citizens that cannot be understated, and innovation in transport is made more important now than ever before. This milestone supports the transformation of the automotive sector, which is happening at an unprecedented pace. The shift towards electrification of vehicles, the need to adapt to cybersecurity risks, and the push to generalize driving assistance and develop automated driving systems are some of the major challenges they are facing today. UNIC is pleased to report on recent achievements in terms of regulatory developments related to cybersecurity, but also in terms of advanced driver assistance system with the adoption of the draft regulation on driver control assistance systems last week. These transformations occur in a context of general digitalization. We will hear today about software-defined vehicles, as well as on Thursday on vehicular communications, where the collaboration of UNICE and ITU is remarkable. As we move forward, we must remember that the challenges ahead in terms of mobility, energy consumption, climate-related targets, shocking road safety figures, and cybersecurity risks continue to require close cooperation across sectors. The automotive and telecommunication sectors have a crucial role to play in this transformation. So let's work together towards a sustainable future. I wish you all an excellent session.